you to get the kind of haircut you like. Joining us now is Gary, who's going to give us some tips and techniques for cutting men's hair. Gary, what can you tell us today? Well, uh, Brian, I've been cutting my hair a variety of ways uh, over the past four years with the Flovey. Uh -huh. Right now, how I got my hairstyle right now is I have it longer through the top and shorter through the sides. How do you do that? Well, I use these spacers. These are what determine the length of your hair. And what you want to do is you want to take your hair, you want to pull it up so you can determine the length that you want according ah, okay. to the spacer. Okay, got so it. you can see there's about a half inch sticking up. Yes. And that's what would get cut. And what you would do is you'd run that all through well, all over the head, because it's all going to be one length, uh -huh. understanding that you're going to take it shorter in through the sides. All right. So I would take it all over, cutting it all one length. Then after I got done with that, I want to take it in shorter through the sides. So what I would do then is I would use some shorter spacers. Let's say I would use this and maybe this would bring it down. And what I would do, Brian, is I would take this in through the sides and just bounce it in through here. Uh -huh. Now, the important thing, a lot of people ask, how do you keep the hair from blending in from long to short? Well, what you want to do is you want to keep this thing perfectly perpendicular to your head, never following the contour of the head. Because if you do that, then you're going to cut the top here. Right. And you're okay. Going to bring it in shorter. Okay, that makes sense. So what you want to do is, as you're cutting it, make sure that thing is perfectly perpendicular like that, uh -huh. never following the contour. And you want to do that on the same. And then you take it in through the back. All right. Now, an added feature that the Floby has is this tapered spacer. A lot of men like to use the tapered spacer. And what that allows you to do, it gives you an angled cut. Cuts it in shorter in through the ears and uh -huh. leaves it longer in through the sides. Got it. So again, you bounce it the same way. Take it in it through the back, all the way across. And that's how I'm wearing my hair right now. Uh, what about um, a lot of kids like trendier haircuts? They like it very short here mm -hmm. and then long. Right. Or any variation on that. Can they do that with this? Yeah, same principle. Uh, the only difference, I pretty much have that kind of trendy haircut other than all I'd have to do is just take it in real short in through the sides. Uh -huh. And what we do is just use the foot. And you just cut it real short in through there uh -huh. and uh, on both sides and then just leave this long, however, whatever length you want it. Gary, what other kinds of haircuts can you do with the Flobie? One that I especially like, and uh, I'll probably go back to using it again because it's so effective and efficient, is cutting it all one length. Uh, cutting it all one length, Brian, allows me to cut my hair in maybe about two to three minutes. And what you do is you determine the length that you want, uh -huh. again, by pulling the hair up, measuring the, uh, the hair uh -huh. and what's going to be cut off. And then what you would do is just bounce it all over your head. And that takes literally about two minutes. Oh. So if you want an efficient, fast haircut, cut it all one length. Going back to the 60s, what about uh, flat tops or buzz cuts? Flat tops are, are, are easy to do. Yeah. I've, I had a flat top about a year ago with the Floby, and what I did is I cut it full through the sides, and how I did that is I got a spacer. That's the length that I wanted uh -huh. on, on the sides. So I cut it all the way through the sides and through the back, and then through the top, what I did is I used a shorter spacer, and I just ah, ran that through the top. Okay, okay. And, and so it gave me the flat top look. And for, if you want the buzz, obviously what you want to do is take all the spacers and just use the foot, and that'll cut your hair about a half inch. <laughs> <laughs> Gary, it seems like with the Flowbee, you can do any kind of a cut imaginable. And of course with kids these days, we're talking about any kind of a cut imaginable. Absolutely, that's one of the great things about the Flowbee is that you can experiment, you can create. God, kids are willing to do that these days. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, absolutely. Joining us now is Kathy, who's going to give us tips and techniques for cutting the lace.